Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Sandra Bianco Photography and as promised I'm going to go ahead and show you how I edited this image as closely as possible um, using the new Innocence Collection 2. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I already went ahead and did the retouch using the original Innocence Retouch um, set. So we're just going to go jump right into the workflow and I'm going to go ahead and start with a spoonful of sugar. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my opacity down a little bit on this. And then we're going to go right into the artistic enhancements. And I'm going to go down to Lemonhead. And I'm going to go ahead and again take my opacity down just a little bit. But this is a really nice warmth on the image, which I've been running on just about every image. So you can see that if I click on and click off, what Lemonhead does, it's really nice warmth. And then we're going to click on hot tamale. You can see how much red this puts onto the image. So I want to go ahead and take that down just a little bit. And then I also want to make sure I'm in my mask here with my black brush at 100%. And I'm going to go ahead and mask this off of my subject because I don't want any red hues falling onto her hair or her hands or her skin. So we're just going to go ahead and mask that off. And I'm going to go ahead and mask it off the dress as well. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and jump down into the fall background brushes. And I'm going to go ahead and start with Sangria. And on these, I like to get my, my opacity of my brush down anywhere from like 30 to 40% is just a good range to start. You can always add more if you need it. But I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit um, of Sangria in here. Make sure you have your white brush selected. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint a little bit of that onto the greens. And then just tapping it a little bit also on the reds. And just down here on the grass, I want to get that nice and deep and dark. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with geranium. This one I'm going to go ahead and take down just a little bit more. And again, I'm going to go ahead and tap this on a bit. You can see it's really bringing out those pretty reds. And I like that on top there. And again, we'll go scoop down at the bottom. Okay, and then once I'm done with those brushes, I'm going to jump down into my botanical blends. Now, for this, I'm going to go ahead and flatten this, um, just so you can keep an eye on what I'm doing in my layers palette over here. But I'm going to go ahead, and it really doesn't matter on this one which color I'm selecting, because I'm going to go ahead and change the color, because I already know that I want to pick up a color from more of her dress. And there's no colors that we created here that are going to be this deep for this. So let's just go ahead and um, click on lavender. Okay. So once I'm on my lavender, you can see that that color is not the color I want, but I'm going to go ahead and bring my opacity up to um, 100%. And I know this is looking really funny, but you can see how like, light and airy you can get with this if you really wanted to. But what I want to do is change the color of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and click into my gradient, and then again click on my gradient here, and then just click on one of these stops, and then you can select a color. Okay, so once I select that, I want to pick a color from her dress. So I'm just picking, um, either pick a color from her dress, you could pick a color from the background here. So that's a little bit more red, you see. I'm picking it from the leaf up there. You can go, that's a little bit more corally red. It's just all going to depend. And if you don't like the color, we can always change it again. But I'm just going to go ahead and click again on her dress here and then let's see I think I was I went to more of the red tone so we'll just click on one of these here for right now I'm gonna hit okay and okay again so you can see there that it's putting on that nice maroon uh, reddish color and what I want to do is I'm gonna click in my layer mask and I'm gonna grab my black brush and I'm just going to bring it up to about 70% for right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and start masking this a bit. And then I want to mask it off of my subject for a, at 100%. So I could just keep going over that. And then I'm going to scoop back down here and just add a little bit more into this bottom area. You can see what that's doing. 
So that's giving it a, a really nice blend. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to, I know I want to deepen this up just a little bit. So I'm just going to grab a curves layer and I'm just going to go ahead and go right into the center and bring this down. And you can see how that deepened that up, that color there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I'm clicked in that layer mask of my curve and bring this up at 100%. And I'm just going to go ahead and get my brush big and circle around just a little bit. And you can see that that, I'm going to go ahead and flatten this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take a snapshot. So this is before. And this is after, before and after. Um, you can check out all of the current videos right now on greaterthangatsby.com. That's www.greaterthangatsby.com. And I will talk to you all soon. Thanks so much. Have a great night.